Hello Pipsters, welcome to the weekly market overview with me Pierre at PAFX. We have an amazing week ahead of us after those NFP numbers last Friday. I think we're gonna see many many good movement uh, for the upcoming week, so let's go. Welcome back guys, we will start with gold, we are on the daily time frame and um, yeah, let's see what we have here. As you see last week, I've been talking about this uh, key trend line that been tested many times. Three times here, four times and last week another attempt to break below it uh, on Thursday and that didn't happen to then get Friday and after the NFP release and the dollar weakness we've got. Uh, gold pushed higher making a bullish engulfing candle on this uh, major trend line so we failed to make new low below this level here as you see we do have a bullish divergence on the RSI despite a lower close here on Thursday uh, so um, looking like the bulls may attempting to start pushing from here so uh, on the four hour time frame we see also this failed new low that did happen here another higher low here we broke out above this uh, consolidation and pushed it very strongly to the upside now the structure is still not uh, changed yet we do have this little trend line on the four hour that need to be broken but this move here showing a possibility for the bulls to really entering this market we did not have such a push since uh, this whole move to the downside we did not see such a momentum to the upside we've got these during these moves here but not on the way down here so that changing uh, the momentum but for more upside we want to see a break above this trend line to then make the next leg and when and if that happened to be aware of we are gonna meet this key trend line as well so uh, for the gold to really keep pushing higher it need also to break above this make some correction and continue higher so the first market objective could be to reach this trend line now after uh, you seeing a break above this one here okay so keep that in mind the structure is still not really changed but uh, the fact that we did not manage to break below this previous low down here could signal a possible uh, bullish continuation yeah to be more sure about that you want to see a break above this and for a longer term continuation up you want to see this whole trend line broken so what we could have is a very strong impulse here the correction and if we break out of this correction then there is more upside to it unless that is not is the case you should start looking to sell once again when we reach that trend line okay EURUSD also um, there was lots of confusion on this pair especially last week and we're gonna talk about that why did the euro move higher with uh, so strong NFP and headline number and um, if we look at this structure guys we're still inside this uh, channel here making lower lows and lower highs um, so the structure is still not changed because of one candle we did test a key level of support here last uh, the week before last week we know that this is gonna be uh, defended we've got a nice uh, test of that and a push higher to then uh, push one more down to the downside this was the FOMC release so we've got a strong push lower correction another strong push lower to then get the NFP release and um, what interesting here is that we've got our first higher low here uh, I think any retest toward this level it is a buy area unless we see that broken and to then start selling more to the downside so this level here is key support monthly S1 is key support level for now uh, as far as this is holding there is uh, a possibility for a bounce higher from this oh sorry for that guys let me let me close this uh, notification so far uh, so we do not get more of these so what happened last week um, 
everyone was wondering and especially new traders that maybe were looking at the um, headline number uh, 263k an amazing number a very good unemployment number and even though the euro uh, pushed higher and the dixie was moving to the downside uh, and there was a lot of people asking around on facebook groups and twitter and stuff like that the reason for that is the average hourly earning is what matter right now we do have a strong employment market in the usa there is no question about that all-time low unemployment so that is good already but the fed is worried about inflation and lower wages as we had here on this reading uh, means uh, lower inflation and that is very very worrying for all <clears throat> for them so this is a leading indicator that the inflation may not pick up and that high make uh, the higher probability for a cut uh, on the rates so that's why most of the uh, traders um, after seeing that start to uh, selling us dollar uh, the first reaction was a uh, push to the downside to then start pushing higher as you see so guys keep an eye on those average hourly earning that is what matter right now everything that have with inflation is very very important now despite that this could still be a uh, short term event so one candle two candles does not change this whole structure which is a bearish structure as you see so that will not change the case that we uh, have a bearish market and um, what we do have is actually we uh, fail to make new low that is worrying for the beers uh, that they could not make a new low which was the uh, market objective to make a new low and keep pushing lower now that did not happen we do have a higher low there is a possibility for more upside and to then start looking for this trend line which is uh, the key level here I will um, say short term you could have uh, some buy on the euro but unless we start seeing some major swing highs taken out something like this happening then this is a sell level here and up here okay so short term you could have this continuation especially if we get some kind of correction back down to this uh, key level if that hold then there is a possibility for one more leg to the upside we're talking about this key level that got broken uh, last week here or the week before and we dipped down we could not make a new low and now if we make the retest and hold then there is a possibility for short term one more leg to the upside to change this bias once again you need to see some major highs taken out that is still not the case for now so the longer term this market is still bearish market one candle will not change that now if we look at the sterling usd here we have a totally different scenario here we have structural uh, change we broke this high we broke these highs we are back above the 200 moving average we broke the trend line so this is totally different scenario here we broke above the 1.3 and retested that and continue higher so what uh, happening here is totally a structure um, change uh, we see a very strong bullish candle we did not have such a bullish candle during the move to the downside so uh, here we could say that <coughs> these <coughs> this push correction another push <coughs> sorry we look for another correction some kind of flag here and continuation could be a good scenario so I'm not looking for this little correction I'm looking for a deeper longer correction the deeper the better if we move all the way to this level that would be great to then start look for the break out of the structure and another leg to the upside is possible on this particular market USD Jappy I've been mentioning the sell here uh, from last week especially after this fake out that guys that was the clear signal to start selling we are back below the 200 moving average 
uh, and the market objective is surely to reach this 111 support level so on the four hour time frame we see it more clearly we had this fake out we broke the trend line and since then i've been selling uh, saying sell the rallies yeah so keep selling rallies on this market especially if we manage to break strongly below this level to look for the next leg to the downside that is what i'm watching on this market um, and it seems like we are pushing to the downside market objective is surely to uh, test this area here um, and there where you may find some kind of bounce back up as far as we are below this trend line keep selling if we break this structure look for next correction and sell again okay uh, that is the first case another case would be some kind of consolidation inside this range now so this is your range keep playing this a break below would be much more interesting to keep selling for uh, for more downside on uh, this market uh, usd chief also same here i've been saying that it is time to start uh, some kind of correction especially after looking at the bodies of these candles here if we look at this move to the upside all the bullish candle were very very strong but here we start losing momentum very small bodied candles we start getting wicks all over the place so that is signaling change of momentum the rsi is pointing to the downside and dipping more now um, last week we had this very fast retest and uh, bounce higher we failed to make new high and on the four hour despite this strong move we failed to make new high again so i think the market objective is to uh, reach this monthly pivot point here for this market to keep pushing lower i want to see it of course breaking below the monthly pivot point even better if we break the trend line to then keep pushing lower but as for short term i am in a sell and i'm targeting uh, this monthly pivot point uh, and this previous structure resistance that may now act as a support uh, um, down here uh, usd cad also um, a very um, <laughs> very um, choppy scenario here as you see we're breaking out we're breaking down uh, it is very choppy but what's interesting here also we failed to make new high and uh, bearish engulfing candle on friday i think market objective is to reach this low down here next week so uh, i'm watching that level uh, for now as a possible market objective as far as this holding you may get another bounce to the upside in some kind of consolidation here a break below this could mean another retest of this major trend line we have here and these lows uh, at this level gonna be a possible support on this market yeah uh, Aussie USD did test this key level of support on the daily we know that it is an interesting support level tested here we know the body of this candle was our last line of defense so we tested here again double bottom bullish in uh, bullish uh, divergence on the rsi and uh, yeah as far as this holding as support there is a possibility for one more bounce to the upside so after such a very strong impulse to the downside one could think of a possible consolidation or a correction here so i think the market objective is to reach this high here it's gonna be an interesting area to see if we're gonna get another leg to the downside or if we're gonna break above it a strong break above it then we start looking for correction and continuation higher now keep in mind aussie gonna have um, important news event next week so on thursday we're gonna get uh, the cash rate and uh, the rba rate statement so that is a major event and uh, on the forex factory the expectation are um, for a cut but actually 
I'm not sure about this. I've been reading around and even the Australian banks are not sure. Some saying uh, rate cuts, some saying uh, no cuts. So it is uh, not as easy this time to, to say there will be a rate cut. <clears throat> and that is maybe already priced in. So do not trade the, the news release itself. What we do have and what we pretty sure about that if we break below this structure here, <clears throat> If we break below this low, then there is a possibility for continuation lower to this area. Whoops, what a, to this area down here. Yeah, that is the first scenario. If we break above this, that will also change the structure to the upside. What I think short term is we're going to have at least one more leg up here to then start looking as a possible resistance. So this is your support, this is your resistance, buy low, sell high, until that is broken. New Zealand USD, same scenario, also tested a key support level here and here, and uh, we uh, have a possible higher low now, that's it. Uh, this also having um, a rate statement and the official cash rate the day after the Aussie on Wednesday. So it is also a very important event to keep an eye at. What we do know that we are in this consolidation zone, yeah? And nothing will change unless we break out of it. We should be seeing this as a possible support and try to buy it unless we see a break below it to sell. As for now, it is a key support level if got tested and showing bullish evidence to look to buy. So this may give you another push lower here to then give you another push to the upside. Keep an eye on this range. Unless we um, break out of it, it is still by the low sell the highs. A break above this could send us to test these levels up here. Okay, the interesting one would be a break to the downside because that will open the door for this kind of trade, a move down toward these levels down here. Very, very interesting, but we want to see this structure broken strongly for that to happen. And New Zealand CAD, same scenario, double bottom bullish engulf, a bullish divergence on the RSI. 200 moving average is holding as support. We broke uh, previously here, but it wasn't a strong break to start saying look for retest and continuation. This actually would be very, very interesting if we break below. There is a lot of room to the downside, but as for now, it is still holding support and you, sh you should not be selling at support. So any retest could be a reason to buy. I am um, expecting something like this after this push consolidation maybe to have some kind of fake break to the downside to then start pushing higher until we get uh, those news on wednesday to then after that maybe see the real move and the real direction so as for now play this range uh, I'm very interesting of the break below. If that happened, there is so much room to the downside. Even a break above could be also ha opening the way for a uh, move to the upside. If we look here, we have also a pretty empty area that may get very, very interesting. Yeah. So inside this range, do not do anything right now until you see the break. Buy the low, sell the high, wait for the breakout. Okay, guys, so uh, thanks a lot. That was it for the YouTube version and um, the rest of the charts uh, gonna be for our um, subscribers only. If you're interested, uh, do not forget we still have the trial 14 days for $1 only. Just uh, go to my page at www.pa-fx.com. Uh, use the coupon code trial and with capital T and you will be able to have that uh, trial for $1 only. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.